You guys are the problem. You're creating panic. You're telling everybody to freak out, and now there's not enough for me. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. In December of 2023, everybody was caught by surprise a bit because the CEO of Vista Outdoors, the world's largest ammunition manufacturer, said that price increases should be expected in 2024. They said one of the primary reasons was a lack of gunpowder, as well as other components that make ammunition. You could expect to pay more for ammo than you did in previous years. Now, we've been through several ammo shortages. It's been horrible. And we finally reached a point where most types of ammo was available at our local gun store, as well as online outlets. And they weren't so much of a gouging price like we saw a couple years ago during the ammo shortage. There was major price increases and very slowly it dropped. And now what do I see? I see ammo all over the place. I see gunpowder all over the place. Why is that? And is there going to be a major price shift for the worse in ammunition? Well, there are a couple reasons. The first one, I want to bring you back to September of 2019. When Walmart said, we are going to be done selling centerfire handgun ammo as well as rifle ammo that is meant for 30 round magazines, okay? The, the modern sporting rifle ammo, the 556, the 223, they said, we're done with that. We're done with handgun ammo. Yes, we, they will sell 22 and rimfire and shotgun and hunting rounds, but everything else is done. And initially, you saw just boxes and boxes and cases of handgun centerfire ammo and 223, 556, you name it, 308. And people said, what? What are they talking about? It's all over the place. Well, the issue there was that they had contracts that needed to be fulfilled. Therefore, they were still getting truckloads of ammo in. But once they sold all that off, they did. They stopped selling centerfire handgun ammo and modern sporting rifle ammo. And so that is a bit of the example that I want to talk about now. Because when I go to my favorite online spots or my local gun store, it seems that just about everything is available. This is a point that we really wanted to see back a couple years ago when you could hardly find anything. And I think that the contracts are still being fulfilled at the current prices that they were negotiated months ago. And so we're not seeing an increase. Will there be an increase? Well, I, ammo has not increased at the rate of food or the products that you use. Seven to 10 percent is well below what inflation has been the past couple years. And so I think we dodged a bullet, if you will, with, with inflation and the cost of ammo. Also, I think that the season that we are now entering, the warmer months in the U.S., it's been a fact. And all you have to do is go to any shooting range and you will see there are fewer people shooting when the weather is warm. There's more to do. And so people just, they, they, they put their guns away for a little bit. They do other things. They don't purchase as much ammo. So as it sits now, I have not seen hoarders and resellers buy up everything for the mere purpose of selling and making a profit. I have not seen major shifts in ammo costs. It is possible that we still could see that, but I do believe that the contracts are still being fulfilled at the rate that was negotiated. So yeah, couple that with the change of season, the warmer months, fewer shooters out there that are practicing and training, we have not seen a price shift in ammo. That still could happen. Anything could happen. I remember they were saying, well, it's gunpowder or it's primers. or and, and at one point or another, it was all of that. Now I'm seeing stocked shelves everywhere I go. And that is certainly a good thing. I want to take a minute and talk about hoarders. 
people really beat up on the hoarders when they would buy up all this ammo and just save it away for a rainy day. Shouldn't we all be doing that to a degree? Shouldn't we all have an adequate supply? You know, I like to keep my gas tank over half full. And if my gas tank is over half full, I know that if something happens, I will be able to get the, from point A to point B. It's just a little prepper mindset that I have. You know, it's 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 just the way that I live. I like to keep the, the, the food cupboards half full because when they're half empty and then something happens, you could find yourself in trouble. I think we should treat ammo the exact same way. But in terms of the price, it will never be back where it once was 10 years ago when there was a box of $7 9mm 50 round target loads full metal jacket or 16 17 bucks for a box of 50 45s or very very low expensive rifle ammo the rifle ammo is still extremely costly the handgun ammo has, has dropped a bit but we have not seen that price increase that so many people were freaking out and so many YouTubers were blamed. I had a lot of people say, you guys are the problem. You're creating panic. You're telling everybody to freak out and now there's not enough for me. Well, I never did that. I said, this is not a panic situation. I don't think it will be a crisis. If it raises in cost a little bit, then so it does. It will probably not reach the point where we're, we were paying a dollar a round for handgun ammo and that was a disaster yes it's sporadic uh, 22 magnum was impossible to find some rifle rounds were impossible to find now it seems available i think there are many factors that are playing into that but i don't think it's panic time actually i think it's time for you to stop watching this video and go out and buy yourself a case of ammo because right now it's available. Keep that gas tank half full and you will be in a better shooting situation and not caught, caught by surprise if in fact we do have another ammo shortage. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.